Okay, guys, so before <coughs> we set up Superbase, uh, there is some other stuff I want us to do. So first thing, go to project settings again, and let's rename the project, okay? Let's call it uh, clip, sorry, clip caption, rename project. Okay, tell me I can only lowercase, so let's do like that. Rename project. It's really important to do it before we keep doing stuff. Great, that's that. And another thing we want to do is transfer our project to GitHub, okay? It's really important so we could manage our versions. So open an account in GitHub if you don't have one, it's free. And just press on your GitHub account and it will do it seamlessly and really fast and easy. Great, so we have a new branch in GitHub. Uh, if I will get into it, you could actually see we already have the code for our uh, project. And by the way, you can completely edit your um, GitHub files, okay? And, and send it back to Lovable. So that's really great as well. So now that we finished that, we can connect to Superbase, okay? Again, we're doing it because we want our project to work with organized backend service, okay? We don't want to just work on our code because then we couldn't store any kind of data. Uh, on top of that, Superbase is going to help us the, with the authentication if we want users to actually have accounts. So to do it, it's very simple. You press your Superbase, you open your uh, organization, and you create a new project. Okay, give a name for your project. Uh, clip caption. Here you use the computer you need. We don't really need a strong computer. You can give it a password. Great, and let's create a new project. So this process take a few minutes, take that in mind. Uh, when it will finish, we will come back. Okay guys, after you create the project, uh, it looks like the project is ready, but it's not. I want you guys to wait until the project status actually will become active, okay? Okay guys, so now the project status is active. Um, let's go through a little bit super base and understand how it works. So basically in the table editor, soon you will see how we have the different tables there. In the authentications, we are going to see all of our users. And the first thing I want you guys to do is go to the settings, go to authentication, and open the general user signup, and open here an email. Yes, I know it's a lot of annoying steps, but it's really important. I want you guys to cancel the confirm email option. It's really, really important. Cancel it, okay? And don't forget to hit here, save. What we're actually doing is that now when we are developing, we don't want users to be required to confirm their email, okay? That's all we've done. So please make sure you're doing it. It's really important, otherwise you will have problems for sure, okay? Okay. So now our project connected to Superbase. Um, okay, sorry, it's not connected yet. Now the, pro the project is ready to connect to Superbase. And let's please hit connect here, okay? To the right project, you probably are only have one. Hit connect. And now Lovable going to do its thing, okay? Okay, and that's it. Uh, we can move on. So the next step, let's go back to our uh, documentations. Okay, the next step is to implement email-based authentications using Superbase, okay? So let's copy that, go to our prompt and just pass it, okay? Right now, you, I, I really ask you guys, don't think, don't try to do like special stuff, custom stuff, no. Please just do the steps one by one. Otherwise, you will have so many problems. Yeah, it's annoying, each project we need to start like that. Maybe in the future, they will do like automatic process to do it. You can experience and try to make it all in one prompt, but I guarantee you it won't work because <laughs> you need to open the project for uh, implementing it inside Superbase from the first place and only then you can make the authentication uh, through Superbase. So for example, if we try to do the authentication before we had Superbase connected, we will have problems, okay? So I'm going to freeze the videos each time Lovable going to think to save us time and I will come back to you every time after he finished this process. Okay, so uh, as you can see, Lovable going to ask for your permissions to do stuff when you ask for him to mess with your uh, Superbase account. He always need your permission to apply the changes. So let's apply changes first. So now we keep thinking and uh, I will get back to you. 
Okay guys, so as you can see, nothing still changed in our front end, but we can see here what Lovable did. So he made all the necessary uh, structure for us. Okay, you can see here. And let's see how it looks in Superbase. Because it might be confusing at first, but I, I promise you, you will understand everything. So in Superbase, if now I will go to my table editor, you will see we have a new table called Profiles. And there we see email, full name, avatar URL, it's for image, uh, when it's created and when it's updated, okay? Um, so that's what happened. A Lovable actually can make actions inside your backend. Uh, soon you will understand how exactly it works. Let's move on. I want actually to make the authentication page, okay? I want to actually be able to log in or register accounts. So let's get back to our uh, prom document. It reminds me we need role-based access control. So let's actually do that before we make the authentication page. We'll copy that and we go and we pass that. And again, we are going to only make stuff in the backend right now. Okay, he asked me to do changes. I advise you to does like try to read it. I think you will understand. So basically, for example, he's making a new table called user roles. And then he's saying like, what are the different columns that are going to be in that? Um, and he's going to do it by your prompt, okay? So he's supposed to understand a lot of stuff from it. Let's apply the changes and we'll see what will happen. Okay, great. And now you will see a new concept that happen in uh, Lovable sometimes. When he experiences error, he will have this window, try to fix. This button doesn't take uh, your credits in Lovable Dev, okay? You can use it as much as you can. They do it because they want the program to work good. They don't want people to think if to fix errors or not by that. So let's just try to fix. Usually uh, when it happens in the first steps, it's usually because of permissions. And usually you understand that you need to get the right permissions and you could do it. Okay, so we finished. Let's see what he done. Again, we won't see any changes here. We will go to Superbase. And as you can see, we have two new tables. We have user roles and we have generation usage. Okay, uh, it's really important. This is how our system going to know how many generations each user has done. Now that we finished with that, I want to make the new authentication page. So let's write him, please make new authentication page for our platform that is connected to Superbase. And we will send it. Okay, so it looks like nothing happened, but you, if you actually go here from the index to the authentication page, you will see we have a new authentication page. So now let's test it, okay? I'm going to go to sign up. I will going to write my email and generic password one to six, sign up. Okay, we have an error, all good. Let's try to fix and see what will happen. Okay, and let's see if now everything work. I will sign up again. Excuse me, uh, not sign up, uh, log in. And as you can see, my account is there, my email is there. I have a sign out button. And if I will press sign out, I will get out. If I get started, again, I'm back in the system. So that's really cool. Uh, another thing I know that will be a problem if I won't fix, if now I will go to the admin panel uh, page, you will see there is errors, unauthorized access, and so on. Now I want my uh, account to be the admin. How do I actually do it? I can ask Lovable, but honestly, all you need to do, because now you know how those stuff work, you're just going to your user roles uh, table. And if you will hit here on the free one, which by the way, uh, as you can see, we created a new account. Okay, we created a new account um, in the table editor. You could see that I have a new profile. By the way, we can see I didn't put my name, so we need to make sure we do that. But in the user roles, if I change that to admin, okay, now we're back and we can see he actually wrote admin next to me and how many generations and so on. It's so cool. Now, another thing I want to make sure is that uh, my actual name is in there. And also we need to update the authentication page to include names, okay? Because uh, right now we don't have names in the signup. So 
let's write here let's make sure in the authentication page we have also full name input field that will be update the full name column in the profiles table in Superbase. And let's send it. What we're going to do now is to edit the code that in the sign up we will actually have also full name uh, input field. On top of that, while it's working, I can go here to the tables and add manually because I would want to check that he's actually presenting my name. I would want to add manually here my name. So let's write here Zorba Nunu. Okay, he's now updating the code. By the way, when it's working, you can press here and see his actual coding uh, action. So that's really cool if you know what's going on there. I'm not that much no, but uh, all good, doesn't matter. Okay, and it's updated that. It. Let's hit here sign up. And as you can see, we have full name. Let's make another user just for testing. Okay, I have like another fake account. Um, mm -hmm. Let's sign up and see what will happen. So we have this new account. We see here free. We, we see that you have only three generations. And here in the authentication, if I will refresh, you will see we have a new account also here. By the way, you can see my admin account doesn't have name, but this account does have name, so it's good. It means it's working great. Uh, let's see if it's also updated the full name here. Yeah, it's updated the full name, uh, but I do want the full name to present here. So let's uh, learn new concept in uh, Lovable. Basically, you have here the select tool. If we will press it, and I will press um, here on this container or element, we are going to edit the behavior of that element. And now I can write, I want to present here the user's profile name. Um, make sure we change it. Ah, I didn't even need to do <laughs> the other sentence. And let's see what will happen. Okay, as, as, as you can see, uh, the name here is now presented. Let's sign out and get in with our uh, admin account and we can check if it's actually working. Yes, now we see Zava Nunu, great. And that means we can move on.